How's it going? So, working on the um, custom enclosure. Here's our molding for the back seat. Now, my wife did get out here with me and we trimmed down and tried to smooth out the edges. By the way, as a side note, do not use Bondo glass. If you run out of body filler or, uh, sorry, fiberglass resin, go to the store and get more. Don't use Bondo glass. This shit is still tacky and is having trouble drying. It's wet around the edges and that's going to be a problem. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to go form fit it into the car. And I will show you how it's fitting so far. I almost think we trimmed it down a little too much. But I, I think it'll be okay. And we're just kind of hanging out at the house. And I put the interior back together. Oh my god, that... We had to cut this thing out with the Dremel, and there was sand everywhere. I had to go to the car wash and try to vacuum it out. Okay, here's where we are. So we've got it where it form fits to the back seat. I'm pretty proud of it. This is the first time I've ever done a custom molding like this, so it's pretty cool. Um, got to remember, we got to put the dowel rods, and we're going to build an amp rack in the middle, and we're going to have the 12-inch subs here. I have, this is funny, but I have papers that I have cut out, what do I do with them, that I have cut out the sizes. I do want the 12 inch subs, I was going to go with Walmart's Pioneer system, but now Amber's looking at this with me and thinking we need a smaller amp, because we did cut, I mean this really, it can't fit under here because you guys got to remember. This has got to go up on dowel rods, and what we're going to do is have the subs cut out to the side. I'm still learning, but they say two inches of space underneath, you know, the big magnet of the sub, at least. I don't want these to go higher than the speakers we're going to put in here, though. So they'll be about like that. And remember, you got to wrap it with fleece, so how far back can this go? I like the way it sits up in here, though. I'm going to trim this a little bit. And sand down this top part. I need some 36 grit sandpaper for this stuff. It's pretty tough. But this is the amp. So Amber thinks I need a smaller amp. Um, I don't know if this setup's going to work, but it was a pretty good deal. Under 250 for the whole system at Walmart. I work for Walmart um, security. So I look at their subs and amps all day long when I'm working. So anyway, this is where we're at, guys. And... It's not bad. It's the first time I've ever done it. I think it's going to be pretty cool once we wrap this, get our rings set up on our dowel rods, our amp rack set up, and we figure out what amp we're going to get and what system. I may go to CarFi and just get, or Creative, and get a kicker system. Maybe. They have tent cells all summer long. Spring's coming. But we'll wrap this, and then we'll fiberglass the top, and it's going to be pretty cool, I think. I'm going to insulate the back seat and the floorboard and then put new carpet in here uh, by this summer. So... All right, um, keep watching and remember, the Black Widow is built, not bought. Thanks, guys.